basically an air conditioning mini split of the cold heat type, also called a heat pump, works on the same principle as a household refrigerator. In the summer cycle, the compressor runs the refrigerant gas through a high pressure line and into a radiator called a condenser, which is outdoors where the heat generated by compression is transferred to the outside environment with the help of a fan. This causes the temperature of the refrigerant to drop somewhere close to outdoor temperature and to condense. That is, it goes into the liquid state to be then transferred to a low pressure line as it reaches the evaporator in the indoors unit expanding and thereby cooling below room temperature. When going through the evaporator, the refrigerant absorbs heat off the air in the room, aided by a turbine type fan. When the refrigerant gas goes back to the compressor to repeat the cycle, a thermostat causes the compressor to stop. When the temperature in the room goes above the value set in the control, the compressor starts again. Within that range, the temperature of the room goes up and down, starting to rise when the compressor stops and then going down when the compressor starts again. The operation in winter is similar. Solenoid valves, as well as a pair of check valves, steer the refrigerant along the piping, as if the compressor pumps backwards. So the condenser works now as an evaporator delivering cold air outdoors and hot air indoors. An unexpected disadvantage is that the evaporator can get so cold in winter that frost will build up in the outside radiator, our former condenser, thus hindering the system's operation. To avoid this, a brief defrosting cycle starts by switching to summer cycle for a while and heating the outdoors radiator to melt the frost. In order for the air conditioner to begin pumping cold air indoors in winter, which we do not need, electric heaters compensate for the cooling during the defrost cycle. The performance is very nice both in summer cycle and winter cycle, but someone found out that efficiency can be improved up to 40% by controlling the compressor speed so it does not have to stop and start every so often. Because the AC motors using compressors depend greatly on the frequency of the power line, an electronic device called a speed control inverter can be used to lower the frequency applied to the motor, thus controlling the compressor speed within a reasonable range. This way, if too much cooling or too much heating is not required, the compressor can operate at a slower rate, using less power, rather than stopping and starting as the desired temperature is reached. Broadly speaking, a frequency inverter controller is made up of a bridge rectifier, either single phase or three phase, to provide a DC source for electronic circuits. Also, an electronic circuit which synthesizes the quasi-sine wave by means of pulse width modulation of square pulses and a three-phase FET transistor switching bridge which will provide pulsating energy to power the compressor three-phase motor. The switching bridge is in turn controlled by the system's thermostat. In general terms, the frequency controlling inverter draws power from the power line and generates its own sine wave at a different frequency, which can be adjusted according to the speed driving the mini-split compressor motor. The inverter is used for both the summer cycle and the winter cycle, thus increasing efficiency in both functions. I hope this video has been useful for you. Thanks for watching and please Subscribe to my channel. Ciao a tutti.